this handle is shaping up pretty nice. Um, I got way too much time into it right now, but it's shaping up. It's looking pretty good. I've been doing a little on this one, and then as I've been going, I've been kind of working on this one. I took most of the leather down. I just kind of sanded it down, uh, which has been an extreme mess in here, just like this handle was too. So I've got leather dust all over the shop right now. <sighs> I've got to get the vacuum out and clean up in here. But the leather that's left on here is uh, stuck down really tight, and it's going to seal up this leather or the black paper handle under it. I'm inclined to seal this with tan coat sand it back a couple of times uh, with some 400 grit and I'll probably do that three or four times see where I'm at and maybe just maybe I can do this one with the leather again um, and see where that goes I think we'll be in pretty good shape because the leather is going to stabilize it even more than what the paper was because paper is just a bad substrate to work with anyway but the leather is going to stabilize that paper even more. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tan coat this, let it dry, try to clean up some of this dust in here. Holy crap. Not sure where I left off. I've got all the the seam off of here that I uh, stitched on. Well, for when, when I stitched it and the seam went all crazy and I think I showed all that. But when I cut it off, I started, I gouged a couple of spots of the leather. It's okay. We'll fix it. Um, what I did to fix it is I put in a little patch in the low spot. I just kind of glued it in. And then I tan coated over it. And then I was able to just sand it to smooth it out again. And it's beautiful right there. So the other spots that were just a little wonky... I just cut some really thin, it's the same sheepskin that I used on the rest of it. I just cut some from little scraps that were left over. And I just cut some really thin, skived them off, thin pieces to just kind of patch in there. And that's all I did. And I'm just going to tan coat it and let it sit overnight again. And we'll sand that down. And uh, I've already got another piece cut to, be the, to cover it. And we'll get that done. And hopefully that'll be the last step of this. Get it coated and done. And uh, I may take that a little slower this time. I don't know. The leather should, is going to stabilize it. I'm not going to have that paper. It's not going to start walking around on me anymore. It's really solid in there. It's really stable. So I'm not too worried about anything shifting and moving this time. It didn't take as long as I thought it might. Got it all sanded down. It's pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. I'm going to give it another seal of tan coat. And uh, we'll see how it looks in the morning. I want that tan coat really, really dry. This is all ready to go. And we're going to kind of line up our little mark there. And I know you're not going to see this. It's okay. I'm just going to try to work one side at a time here. sure it's pressed down good in the corners. I'm intentionally long on the end. We'll just do the same here and I'll I'm going to try to keep this a little more in camera here. I'm just going to 
keep lining up my my center line that I made here. We're starting to get in there pretty good. I'm liking it thus far. I kind of got to, I, I need to kind of work these corners and everything all at the same time. So this is where it's going to get, I'm not going to be totally in camera for some of this because it's tough to do all this at once. Now is when we're getting into that stretching part. So far so good. I need to get some more glue up on this area. And we'll keep going. Here's what the bottom looks like so far. It looks like it's forming pretty well. I'm going to get some more glue on there to let it dry up or let it tack up. I forgot to turn you back on while I was doing the other side. It's looking not too shabby right now. And I think most of this is about what I'm going to have to deal with. Some of it is not as nice as I'd like. Hopefully, when I get down here to finishing up, I'll be able to tighten some of this up a little bit more as I get to pulling it and clamping it. That's my hope. That is my hope. But this is where I'm at right now. I'm kind of getting everything looks pretty well centered at this point. I'm hoping to keep it that way. I'm just taking little little bits at a time. I'm not uh, taking big bites. Just kind of going a bit at a time. I don't know what else to do. I'm just kind of following my center line that I drew in there earlier. Just going to keep going. We'll see what it looks like. I guess tomorrow when it's uh, all dry. And it looks pretty daggone straight. I'm going to go on. I'm going to get this silly thing done and get it back to my customer. I'm going to experiment with some dye. I don't know how well this uh, sheepskin is going to dye. How, how well it'll take dye. I don't remember if it's a veg tan or a chrome tan. A sticker on there somewhere. That might tell me. There's one and a half to two ounce, which says it's a one and a half to two ounce. I beg to differ. I think it's closer to a three. It does not say. I see a e, kind of a part of an EG, so I think it is a veg tan, sheepskin. So I'm going to treat it like a veg tan. I'm going to try to dye it. Um, sheepskin, I usually use this as a lining leather. I don't uh, try to burnish it. I haven't tried to do anything with it. I know that it will burnish with some uh, tokenol. I haven't tried it with anything but tokenol. But I know tokenol will burnish it. Before you start, make sure your awl is sharp. Strop it. Do whatever you got to do. If you don't know how to sharpen it all, learn. I'm not very good at it. it. Takes me a little too long to get it sharp. Probably because I neglect my all. I don't use it very often. Taco John's. <laughs> I was gonna go leave to go somewhere with the truck. I had to take my meds. And I gotta eat when I do that. 
So I'm going to follow the angle that I have from the punch. And knowing I've been stuck with my awl on the back side before, just be careful. You don't necessarily have to uh, stick it all the way through. I'm just gonna pull it snug. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna grab out my gorilla strength and get that super tight because it doesn't need to be. So I will, uh, that is what a binding stitch looks like. Just kind of wraps around the end there. need to be able to control the pressure that I'm putting on this handle. So that's why I have it uh, in the clamp. And the rest of this is going to get stitched like anything. Clean old saddle stitch. Alright, last stitch. I'm going to hold this thread back, come from the front, around to the back. I'm holding them both back right now. Come through. This is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to hold it all back. Bring the back thread around to the front. And just so I don't pierce any threads, I want to come through. So, and that's really all there is to that binding stitch on that side. I'm going to go through one more, back stitch one more. Given where it is, I'm just going to take one on each side and I'm going to melt them off there. So I'll get over on the other bench here. I'm going to go ahead and cut those off and then I'm going to mark all this and trim it. I think I can take this and scribe a line. Not that you'll be able to see it, but I should be able to. Alright, I can see it. I know you guys won't be able to. I'm going to 
if I'm careful, I think I can, maybe you'll see it. If I'm careful, I think I can uh, get that and it'll be pretty uneventful. Trying to find the best way to do that is a whole other story. Alright, I got it a first burnish on it. And I gotta say, the sheepskin, while it will burnish, and it burnishes quite nicely, it is harder than a dickens to try to sand because it is so soft. It would have been a lot nicer if I could have used cowhide on this, but there was no way cowhide was going to stretch around this unless I could have gotten in that uh, uh, one and a half to two ounce cowhide. And I just don't have it. And uh, finding thin cowhide like that is tough. And splitting it is almost impossible to do because um, it's just hard to do. So I do have a small scale splitter here, a six inch splitter, so I could probably I probably could have split down a piece to do this, but uh, man, this is tough. So I burnished it and now I'm going to try to sand it so I can even everything out. At least that's my hope. My cut was pretty good along the top, around it, so I think I'm going to do all right. Now at the same time, I can't bevel this either. Uh, I can't get a beveler to run around it because it's so soft. So I'm going to try to sand in a bevel carefully. So while I was just looking at the old color of the old handle, now this was a different, uh, this looks like it was probably a horse hide. And this leather was surface pigmented. It was not struck through at all. But I'm thinking this was just, uh, it's so hard sometimes to it used to be really common to use horse hide on stuff like this and for holsters and stuff, veg tanned horse hide. And I'm thinking that that might be what this is. I could, I could definitely be wrong. I usually am. That might be cow hide. Oh, I'm tired. I got up early this morning. Tried to take a nap, couldn't fall asleep. Tried reading, couldn't fall asleep. Took a shower, came out to the shop. So aside from the blue, I think I'm gonna dye this walnut. Thebing's Pro Dye Walnut. I like the look of it. I think it's close enough. The burnish came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I think it's in pretty good company. So, I hope it takes dye good. Uh, this is picking up some patina from my burnishing and everything. When I was uh, rubbing all the parts in. It's picking up a little patina. This is lovely. Uh, I can't wait to show it to you when it's done. <sighs> Loving it. Absolutely.
absolutely loving it. This is the right choice. I hope my customer likes it as much as I do. If not, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> I've had this long enough that I don't know that I'm going to charge him. We hadn't really discussed much of a timeline. I had figured I could get it done in a couple of weeks. I've had it like a month and a half now. But, I wasn't expecting it to be so cold. I think I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stick that in my pony and let it dry. Well, here's our handle. Or my customer's handle, I guess you'd say. The seam finally came out relatively straight down the middle. Thank God for that. Give her a little nice little buffing off. I have not uh, top coated it yet. Not sure if I should use a resoline or a tan coat. I think it uh, turned out pretty darn nice. Pretty nice indeed. Came out good. Got some nice patina on there. I did dye burnish this top seam. Uh, I thought that was the way to go. Just felt like the right thing to do. So, there's that. Um, I don't know. I think I don't know what to do for a top coat. It almost looks like it should just be oiled. That sheepskin just has it has such a nice a nice shine to it just the way it is. Maybe maybe ugh. maybe just some leather balm. Maybe some Connolly's hide care. Maybe that's all it needs is a little hide care. Maybe that's all we're going to do. Give her a little Connolly's and see how she goes. I have a feeling that might be the ticket. Then we can move on to the next project. I don't normally use Connolly's on a freshly dyed piece. So I know it's going to take a little dye with it. On smaller things like this, it's just sometimes easier to just kind of rub it in with your fingers. Probably grab a clean rag. Well, I think that was the right call. I might go over it one more time. But, I think that was the right call. 
it evened out some of the darker the spots that I thought were too dark. I think that looks great. I think it looks fantastic. I'm going to give it another coat or two. And we'll be back to wrap up the handle. Well, here it is. My customer is going to send me some pictures of the completed project and with the handle on it. Uh, I think this came out pretty good. I am pretty pleased with it. Um, it looks, I think it looks great. I know these ends where the seam stands proud is going to get kind of squished down. It's okay because that's just the mounting system is going to squeeze them down a little bit and that's fine. I think uh, the color came out nice. I'll throw some pictures in here. If I didn't already sometimes I have them in there already and there it is I'm gonna leave it at that a couple of coats of Connelly's and it looks I think it looks great the uh, seam standing seam on there looks good I think it's gonna look fantastic on his project um, there you go that's the handle completed for all the nightmares it gave me and all the headaches uh, I think it came out great. So, check down below. There'll be a link to my Amazon store. Anything you purchase through that store helps out the channel. Uh, it is an affiliate link, so we get a little kickback from it. Helps to buy pro project materials for other projects that I do in the channel. Y'all stay safe. God bless. Go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. I certainly appreciate it. Leave a comment below. I like reading comments and I always respond to them. So y'all have a good day and we'll catch you in the next video.